Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Zoe, and and today we can make cinnamon buns, and it's our favorite. We tasted one day, also we, we asked, like we, I asked my mommy to make it again because I loved it. So we're gonna make it again because I love them, and my favorite family's favorite. And today, and today we can make some lines with it. And I, and you can see my mom's gonna ask the yes of the stuff. And you see the butter's boiling in the pot. And let me show you my ingredients. My sister's sleeping. And my dad. And I have two cups of flour. Two eggs, like two eggs, and I have some um, yeast for so it can like go in. And I have another two cups of flour, mm -hmm. and 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 now I'm gonna add in the yes. the yeast. Everything must put everything in. Um, Make sure you empty the packets away. It's all Yeah, I can still hear there's a few in. And then some. And wait, wait, wait. Okay, so guys, in the pot boiling over here, uh, we had one cup of milk, a third of a cup of butter, a half a cup of sugar. So you put it in a little pochi and you put it on medium heat. And you just melt it basically. You don't let it get too hot. So when you add this mixture to the two cups of flour, your one packet of yeast, your half a teaspoon of salt, make sure that this mixture is lukewarm and not hot. Otherwise, it will burn your yeast. So for those who were craving Cinnabons during lockdown and quarantine, and um, you were wondering when your favorite Cinnabon shop is going to open this, is going to replace that babies that you've been craving. So Zoe, um, you added two cups of flour, you added a packet of yeast, you added a half a teaspoon of salt. So we're gonna add in the one cup of milk, the third cup of butter, and a half a cup of sugar. And we're gonna crack in the eggs. So Zoe? I'm gonna go this. Mommy help you. Can you keep this one? Go yeah. one, get the other. Okay. And you see that it's turning brown a little. I'm gonna mix it up and turn into dough in the middle. And okay, mix, mix, mix. Mix you see everything. Take it from the sides. Take all your flour from the sides. There you go. Okay. together so you mix it into a soft pliable dough if it's sticky you add more flour you can throw it out onto a surface like this and you see Zoe is busy kneading the last of those air bubbles out so you knead and you'll see that it is a soft very very soft pliable dough so you knead it you knead lacquer 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 and then when it comes together in a soft ball you put it in your kidney bucky and you put it in a hot place like maybe for an hour and let it double in size and then we will show you further steps okay guys so the dough has been rising in the sun for an hour so can you just touch it so that they can see you can, can you see, see it? It? Mm. 
Tell me, how does I, it feel? And it feels so gooey. And like, I can hear that crunchy stuff. Can you guys hear that? Because it's like so soft. And it's like soft. So when you see those air bottle, bubbles, you basically just knee it back so you can punch it with your fist. Punch it so. Okay. Punch it. See, you go. can see it's oily there. Mm. So I'm gonna punch it like yeah. this. You punch it okay. inside like one. So guys, for your filling inside uh, your Cinnabon, you are going to need some butter to show them there. Butter, yeah. There's the butter, butter. and uh, pecan nuts and some walnuts. Those yeah. are optional. Not everyone loves nuts. Like uh, one of the twins doesn't like nuts. So we're going to make one plain and one without nuts. And then we also need a cup of muscovado sugar. And then you're gonna need cinnamon. Where's your cinnamon, Zoe? My cinnamon is over here. Okay, show them your cinnamon. cinnamon. So what you're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna mix uh, the cup of muscovado sugar with some cinnamon. Yeah. And then we're gonna rub it on. We're gonna roll out the cinnamon dough. Yeah. And we're gonna show you that process shortly. Yeah. again for another half an hour so look how cute this buns look don't they look cute Zoe oh my gosh this yeah they so are cute. so can you just touch them and you show them how soft is the dough yeah. don't touch it too hard eh? don't touch the dough softly softly okay so this is a very very delicate dough very soft so this babies are going to go in the oven in 180 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes so when they come out of the oven you're gonna glaze them with some cream cheese frosting, mm -hmm. and we have some leftover from last night's cake. What cake did we have last night? Um, that was a uh, carrot, ca carrot cake, carrot, carrot cake. and pecan nut cake. Yeah. So we made the cream cheese frosting last night, which is you make a half a cup of butter, a cup and a half of powdered sugar, a half a cup of cream cheese. You whisk it together, add in a teaspoon of vanilla essence. And there Bob's your uncle, so we had some frosting left over. So when this comes out of the oven, you will glaze it with your frosting. Okay. And then you have the option of putting on pecan nuts, whole nuts, whatever. Like I said, my family is not a very big fan of nuts, so this is the batch that I left plain. Also, just a side note, I left some of the dough out, which I'm going to try to make croissants from the same dough, but just a different method. So we will shoot a different video to show you how we will make croissants with a cinnamon bun dough. Cinnamon so do you think you can do that, Zoe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is going in the oven and we'll show you the end result shortly. Please like and subscribe Joa Moore's channel and also catch Nazaya's um, video on how we made the nachos. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks Bye. guys. Subscribe to the channel. This is the end result. And you see how it came out? We put a little dressing on the top so you can look at them more nicer. And my mommy, and my mommy loves it, and I love it. And guys, this is the end result.
results. I've got it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That's good. So, guys, as I said, uh, 180 degrees for 25 minutes. Uh, when it comes out still hot, glaze them with the frosting and I just top them with some and to separate the pecan nuts from the whole nuts. So if your family doesn't like nuts, you can leave it out. But if they do, you can also do different variations like when you do the roll up with the cinnamon sugar. You can also spread some Nutella for a chocolate flavor. That is really good. The girls love that as well. But today we just did the classic um, Cinnabon just as the Cinnabon shop does it. So hopefully you will like this. Try this recipe. And what should they do, Zai? Zoe? Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Bye guys. I hope you like this channel. Subscribe to the channel if you like it. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.